Prepare to explore. Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all new Nissan X Trail. Afternoon, it's Katie Martin with you. The independent member for Mount Gambier is making his state budget wish list known just over one week out from the big day and he won't be surprised by his top two priorities. Troy Bell wants to see some big spending to improve health and housing in the Limestone Coast. We've still got a, an issue with affordable housing and you can't grow your, your community and, and population if, uh, if you don't have housing. The budget will be handed down next Thursday. In the meantime, $3 million has been locked in for upgrades to Yule Primary School. Briefly, a severe weather warning has been cancelled for the upper and lower southeast districts as a cold front moves further into Victoria. Severe thunderstorms remain a threat into this afternoon, the main watch area from near the Victorian border. An elite world few can break into. Mount Gambier teenager Holly Allison's one step closer to achieving her dream of dancing with the Victoria State Ballet Company after performing in their senior production. And east of the border where Crime Stoppers Victoria and police are pleading with drivers and pedestrians in built up areas of the state's southwest to make safer choices. A new campaign is asking people to stop and look to make sure they live when using the roads. Or Crime Stoppers CEO Stella Smith says one wrong move can have deadly consequences. Data from the TAC shows there is a disproportionate spike in deaths when pedestrians cross the road in built up areas with a 60 km per hour limit. And our new campaign hopes to reduce the number of deaths through targeted education. More information and safety tips are available on the Crime Stoppers Victoria website. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. A dedicated volunteer of the Panola Bowling Club has been thanked with a national recognition. Ken Batts received a volunteer award from the federal government after working with the club for 20 years. And an Apollo soccer player is all the way over in France this week. Sam Mills is competing in futsal at the Virtus Global Games, an elite sports event for people with an intellectual disability. Get your business retail ready for the end of year sales at Snap. Visit your local Snap Print Solutions Centre or via our website at snap.com.au today.